So for our next hook, we have the use memo hook. So I'm going to jump inside our hooks folder, create a new file called memo.js. And then I'm going to say RFC, save that. And then back inside our app, let's go ahead and render out the memo. So memo, and then it's importing from hooks memo. So that now we only have memo on the screen. So I want to start with a very simple example that we have been using. So I'm going to go ahead and import the use state hook. And then inside here, I'm going to say const count and set count. Set count is equal to use state. And by default, it's going to say, let me just say 10 by default. And then inside this div, I just want to go ahead and render out the count. Now, you would think that nothing is wrong with this, okay? And of course, nothing is wrong with it, just to be clear. But if I go ahead and say this now, let me go ahead and add in a UL with three list items. And then inside here, I'm going to render out a button. And this button is going to say add, come on. And then this other button is going to say the, the count, so the variable count. And then this one is going to say a button that says subtract. And then for the add button, just like we did for our first application, I want that when I click on this, then we're going to say set count into count plus one. And then for the subtract button, when we click on it, I just want to say set count into count minus one. Now, when I save that, this is working just like it did in the first example. Now, this example, it doesn't really prove anything, right? It doesn't really prove anything. But if I go ahead and pass in my console log here, so console.log, and then I say logged, just like that, when I save that and then open up the console, look at what happens in the console. So it says logged, and it's, it's, it shows two by default. And I don't think whether I spoke about this, but the reason why it's logging two items to the console, even though it's only rendering the component once, is that we are using React strict mode. So if you check your index.js, we are using React strict mode. And by the way, you can remove the context now. You don't really need it, but even if you have it, there's no problem. So React strict mode is going to render out two console logs only in, in development, but in production, it renders out one. So this is not a bug, it's, it's completely fine. And then you can ignore this. This is coming from an extension that I have. Now look at this, if I say, add or subtract, look, it's it's logging the console log every single time, right? Look, it's logging it every single time. And what that means is that the way React handles state or handles updates to the UI is that it re-renders your component every single time that your state value changes. So anytime that state changes in your component, then React is going to re-render the entire component. That is what is happening here. Now, obviously, for a small application such as this, you don't even see the effect. But imagine if you had something or rather a function that was not just adding one, but was, let's say, multiplying 10,000, then you would have a problem. So let me try and simulate that. Let me see whether I can get it to work. So let me rename this to count. And then the buttons can remain, I think. The console log, I also want the console log to remain because that is what we're using as a basis to check whether our component is re-rendering. And then I'm going to go ahead and create a function here that is just going to be ridiculous. So I'm going to say const multiply is equal to, and you know what, let me, listen, let me make this an arrow function because I already started with const. It was just like uh, reflex. And we're going to say return math.random and then multiply this by, let me say 99,000, let me, or 999,000, doesn't really matter. So a random value multiplied by this value. And then we're going to say this, we're going to say that const, const, oh my God, new value is equal to multiply. Now, let me see whether that will work. Let me try and render out the new value. So, Let's go below this UL, let's add a div here. And this div is gonna say new value and then pass in the new value that we've just created. I don't know whether this will work, but let me just test it out and look at that. So we have this new value. So every time that 
the component renders i don't know we can now remove the console log because also this is re-rendering right so let's just remove the console log now this is taking a random number and then multiplying it by 99,000 or 99,999. So if I cause a re-render of the application by hitting the add or subtract button, then even this one is recalculating. Now, this is taking up much more space than this in memory, right? So what we need to do is we need to find a way that the computer can remember this value so that it doesn't have to recalculate that value every single time that this changes. Now, the way we do that is by using the use memo hook. Now, use memo comes from a Latin word, if I'm not wrong. I don't know if it's Latin or something, but it comes from the word called memoization. And it does sound like memorization. And that is because they mean the same thing. So it just simply means to cache a value in memory so that you don't have to recompute it every single time that the component re-renders. Now, how do we fix that in this new value? We simply go ahead and call use memo, which you need to import on the top right there. And then the use memo has this a similar syntax to the use effect in that it takes in a callback function like so, and then it takes in a set of dependencies array if you have dependencies array attached to it. And then now I can call in my multiply function inside the use memo, just like that, so that now if I save that, now look at the new value. I can calculate here and see, even the new value is not being computed. <laughs> see, it's not being computed because it's already saved to memory. So only when the dependency changes, that's when this is going to rerun. So for example, if I go ahead and pass in count inside here, which is this dependency, which means that every single time that the count changes, then the multiply function is going to rerun. So if I save that and then test it out, and it's still not changing up. Hmm. I think I have passed in the wrong syntax. Where did I go wrong? Let me see. Let me remove this. Let me remove this first of all. So use memo. Let me type it again. So use memo. And then let me put it on one line. So multiply, multiply, call it, and then pass in the dependency array. Let me save that. Let's test it out. Okay, okay, there we go. So I, I passed in the wrong syntax. Apologies for that. It happens to the best of us. So see now that this is computed, but if I go ahead and click the add or subtract button, now it is no longer being re-rendered. That is because now the, the, the multiplication that is being done is now cast into memory so that it doesn't have to change every single time that this changes. So that is the use memo hook. Now, if I go ahead and pass in a dependency array here called count, meaning that I want this function to rerun every single time that the count state value in this case changes. So if I save that, then it's going to now update for every single count. That is the purpose of the dependency array. But then once again, if that is not the functionality that you want, simply remove the dependency array and this value is going to be stored in memory and we're going to have that. That is looking quite, quite nice. And so that is the use memo hook.